What's going on, you guys? AJ Tucker here with AJ Self Defense, and I found a similar case to the Shane Piche case where he raped a 14 year old girl. Uh, he was a bus driver. It's this case out of Houston that happened a, a couple of years ago where a doctor, he actually raped a sedated patient and got off for it. Got 10 years probation, the exact same sentence. Now, this is the guy right here. I can't really say his name, so I'm just going to call him Dr. Rape. He was working the night shift in a hospital, and a woman comes in following an asthma attack. So she's sedated. The doctor enters the room twice. The first time he enters the room, he fondles her. The second time he enters the room, he has sex with her. Convicted of raping a patient in her hospital bed while she was sedated, but he was only sentenced to 10 years probation and no prison time. He's an internal medicine resident who was on, on call at this hospital that night. Uh, he's been charged uh, with assault. Uh, and the Texas Medical Board revoked his license after the arrest. He will. Now, all this happened. Um, they had evidence. He did it. Um, but check out what the defense team did. Look how they twisted the scenario. Part of the defense. He made a mistake, but he didn't sexually assault her. Here we have this Latina woman with her fake boobs that came onto that little nerdy middle-aged guy, and he lost his mind. Le now, my question is, what in the world does Latina have to do with this? What does it have to do with anything? And what does having fake boobs or big boobs have to do with anything? Uh, this is a they. This is a a case of victim blaming at its finest. Um, the thing is, she was pressing the call button, but the button wouldn't come on as she was being raped. And so the guy had this thing set up. He obviously had a system in place, and he probably he's probably done this to other women as well. Um, they had the rape kit. They had him on a surveillance camera going into the room. They had DNA. They had evidence, but somehow. He is not being sent to jail. During the defense, they asked her questions about her Instagrams, about certain pictures of her in a bikini and just, I mean, just um, assaulting her character, basically, you know, trying to make it look like he's just some poor, you know, poor, wealthy, nerdy guy going after some. It's just crazy. I don't even I can't even um, I can barely talk about it right now. I personally know rape victims or, or victims uh, you know, doing self-defense and things of that nature who who come out straight out and say like, hey, um, I'm not moving forward with charges because they're going to do X, Y, Z or they're going to drag my name through the mud and they just don't want to go through the headache. But that's all I got for today. I just wanted to sit, shed a little bit of light on how um, the Shane Pinch guy can get off with 10 years probation there's no information out there on it. I mean, there's information out there, but it's just very hard to get. So I wanted to use this story as an example that has more information on it, a little bit more um, background and information that's available and uh, see how these things can happen. But I also wanted to state that these things have, this type of stuff has to stop.